Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and we're continuing on our fugitive journey. This is episode 11. Yes, we are still alive. Absolutely incredible. We are on this wonderful little planet here. I have found a crashed ship. I found two glyphs. Um, so I got some more technology. I got hazmat gauntlets now, and I've also got a personal refiner. So really, really excited about this because of the fact that, you know, almost unheard of that you get all this stuff um, we're doing fantastic on nanites I got over 5,000 nanites now um, we've got tons of money on us we've got what are we up to four glyphs we need eight to get where we want to go I'm gonna take a little bit more time in searching this planet just because of the fact that it's been a wonderful planet to me so far um, I have no idea how many poles I've been on. I'm stuck there. Here we go. Okay. And we'll look for more crash ships. I'm looking for more glyphs. Maybe I'll come across another one. That's a little depression right there. It usually houses something. I don't see anything there, though. So I'm really hoping to find something else. If we were to find one more glyph on this planet, I would be... I don't know. You'd have to change my diaper, I think, frankly. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know that was a bit much. But I would just be so excited. But it would prove my point of looking for... Yeah, stop running into the landscape there, buddy. Uh, it would prove my point of finding three-star systems, uh, economy, that is, and searching those systems for what you're looking for. Because it's just that much better because of it. I keep seeing knowledge stones on occasion on the corner of the radar and thinking I might have found something, but... And you have to divert your attention from the top radar to the bottom one inside your ship to look for crashed ships down below and to look for gravestones up, up above. So, kind of tough to do that. Night time. Let's see what we find. Really kind of excited to find something nice. Because it's a moon, it's actually everything's tighter together as far as the different places are concerned. Yeah, we had some three star things we just passed over. And I'm going to continue to weave back and forth and get stuck midair on occasion. Maybe I'll use my scanner once in a while. Why not? I don't know if it'll pick up anything, but, you know, hey, it's worth a shot. Let's go ahead and head over here. We'll see what this is. We will keep looking the other directions as well. Plus, we're in our Sentinel ship, which makes things a little bit easier when we're... I don't know what that was. That might have just been Knowledge Stone. Let's go back the other way for a moment. Yeah, it was. It's just Knowledge Stone. There it is. Yep. See? Use the scanner again. Oh, there's another place right over there. Uh, nothing special. Back this way. Lots of debris on the ground. That looks like just a... Oh, you know what? We can land there because we took out all the sentinels. So let's land. Actually, you know, I'm going to use the landing pad. Because I shut down the sentinel network, didn't I? <laughs> and that'll allow me to pick up those. And my inventory is about full, so I gotta check it. Put that in my ship. Why did it have an effigy in it? That's kind of strange. Does anybody else think that's strange? That just gave us nanites. Uh, let's see. Any more combat supplies floating around? Radiation protection. Okay. 
this is a, a occupied facility owned by the network, so I cannot enter the facility. So I will be leaving. All right. Ah, two spots left in my inventory, huh? Yeah. You know what? Let's call in our other ship real quick. And now I can take this. There we go. Put that in that ship. Put that in the ship too while well I'm at it. There we go. Alright, that looks good. See? Look at that. A little bit of... I get I get smart once in a while, I suppose. So my ship's gonna remain on the radar. Okay, and we are getting to a point where I'm like, okay, should we should we stay here? I mean, I keep finding neat things, so do I stay? <laughs> I don't know if I if I want to or not, to be honest with you. Come on. That's stuck again. One of these days I'm going to hit a plant and it's going to knock out something. Uh, lots of ships coming in, so I'm assuming there's a landing pad nearby. Unless they turn angry. Alright, we got a bunch of buildings nearby. Those ships flying over don't really help us any. Yeah, we don't want to land there, that's for sure. Let's keep going. Yeah, those ships are still flying. They're not helping me at all. And I haven't been watching the top radar, so... Heaven forbid I should find a gravestone down below. Some place where I could have gotten a glyph. Interesting. That many ships all headed in one direction. That is really, really weird. Oh, let well, me we guess. That's a... Yeah, that's got to be a landing pad. And you notice how they're all heading towards it. It goes with my theory, folks. It goes with that theory I had a long time ago, and I keep saying it over and over again when you're doing your permadeath runs. Watch the ships that fly overhead. They will head in the direction of a landing pad. Always. Without fail. They are trying to nudge you in the right direction. Alright. I think we are done here. I don't think we're going to find anything else. So we need to go to a pirate system next. And then we'll check out our theory on the three star economies. I was hoping to find one more crash ship because I thought... Hey, it would be nice to find another crash ship and see if I can get one more piece of technology. Or another glyph, which would be cool. I have no many, how many hours? I think we've passed the 12th hour at this point. But the final push wouldn't take long. And we've already discussed, I have a fella on there, uh, Austin, uh, Austin Erico, I, I can't, can't think of the name, and I apologize, Austin, um, who mentioned how he got damaged completely just like Beeble did. It's like, well, there's nothing in the rules that prevent us from removing our technology prior to the final jump. Because we do have to get to our ship and in and out of our ship to save it. That said, that would allow us to save some of the technology like our analysis visor and things like that. Alright, daylight is here. Watching all the radars while I babble. <laughs> A 
could have seen anything in that grouping. What was that? Oh, was that all it was? I think that's all it was. It was just a couple of plants. Oh, yeah, that's what I saw. Either a berry or uh, one of those berries underground to hold the albumin pearls. That looks like a place... Okay, that was just uh, that. I've got all these ships flying overhead, so... They're cluttering up my radar. Thank you, guys. I can't find if there was a crash ship or not anywhere around here. Because of them. Okay. Watching all the radars again. Okay. Yeah, I think it's time. Oh, is that what it is? No, that's just the regular formations. Okay, I thought it was curious deposits. Which I was thinking, yeah, you know, that's worth pulling the runaway mold out of them, but I'm doing really well on nanites, so I don't really need it. So let's just continue the way we are. Nope, knowledge stone again. Ah, always gets me. Always gets me. Makes me think I just discovered another glyph. Or grave, I should say. Alright. Gotta go slow enough when they pass over. When you're passing over these things. Too bad you can't keep a steady speed. You have to rely upon the ship to... Not slow down too, too much as you're weaving all over the place. Yeah, 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 I know. Alright. Tell you what, this has been a great system, but I think it's time we move on. We're already 12, almost, okay, clo closing in on the 15-minute mark of this episode, and all you see me do is wander around like this. Running into things with my ship. get up a little bit higher off the ground. I was really hoping for one more crashed ship. It would have been awesome had we found a crashed ship. say. We don't have anything, do we? No, we don't. Way to proceed. Let's go ahead. Because I just remembered I wanted to get the scatter blaster out of the other unit that I had anyway. just meowing the daylights out of me. No, I'm sorry, Ollie. You may not go outside. Oh, good. Two salvage glass. Do I start counting like the count? Ah! <laughs> More nanites. Excellent. Pugnium. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ah, oh, we've got some more dirty bronze. That's good. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, weapons. You also have a scatter blaster. Let's 
Looks like we got two supercharged slots on this A-class unit, too. Huh. Advanced mining laser, of course, I've already got one of those, so I don't really need to worry about it. But, you know what, I could also extract the technology. I don't really need the scatter blaster anymore, but, you know what, it's free. Let's just take it. Alright, good deal. Let's stay by the ship, because I don't want to get attacked. Stay by the edge of it somehow, that sounds good. Alright, let's go into the multi-tool and pull stuff out. So we're going to go ahead and... We don't need it, so I'm going to go ahead and dismantle it. Um, mining speed. Oh, well, this thing has three slots that are supercharged. How fascinating. Yeah, that's not really worth my time either. And that's not really worth my time. Um, we're going to take you out. What do we need there? Hermetic seals and microprocessors. Which I should have some on my ship. Wait a minute. Why don't I have any on my ship? Radiation protection Is it in the other ship? Let's find out, shall we? No. Oh, I must have used it all up. Fascinating. So I need... Buried technology. I need to find more microprocessors. Because I don't have the recipe, correct? Okay. So that's a shame. So we're not going to be able to use that, but that's okay. Uh, no, we don't want to do that because we're going to be going into you. Okay. That in there as well. Okay. Let's switch our multi-tool. Uh, let's see, so that's my big one. Let's check this one out, see what's on it. Nothing worthwhile. I'm waiting for my radiation protection to go back up just a little bit. This is going to take a second here. Get it about halfway and then I'll jump out. Yeah, that's good. Alright, so we're gonna go to you. And there it is. We're gonna pull you out and put you over here. What else we got? See, that's got a third slot too, so it's exactly the same as the other one. Fascinating. We still don't get any microprocessors out of it. There we go. Can't get rid of that. Alright. Okay. Oop, let's just switch over. Real quick. To you. Alright. And now we don't have to worry about it anymore. Alright. But we have nowhere to put you just yet. Let's see. So these aren't really going to help us. We're at 4,000 damage with these. So let's go ahead and pull them off of here. And I'm going to stick them here. That's interesting. We can make those. I'm not really worried about that. Put you over here. Okay, well, that's good. Alright, so we got a Viking Dagger, Corvax Casing, Viking Effigy. Good. I'm going to get rid of that. That we're keeping, because we know why we need it. So we keep running into problems. Okay. Back to the multi-tool. Doesn't look like I'm getting attacked, so at least that's something. Um... Pull you out. No, we're putting you in the starship with the other one. Starship with the other one, thank you. Okay. Multi-tool. Multi-pass. Okay, let's get this. 
6,000 damage with it. Okay, well, that's much better. Do we need that? We'll go ahead and keep it in case we decide we need it. I really... You know what? We should really just get rid of it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them. And hopefully we can get an upgrade for that thing one of these days. Starship. Back to the starship itself. Let's go ahead and put it in here. Get rid of it, because we can always install a new one. Because we have the technology. Um, these we'll keep, because they're actually, you know, worthwhile. I've always been told that it will help your regular guns as well, but I don't know how true that is. I only got the one solar mirror. I do have one solar mirror. Wait a second. That means I should have another one on the other ship. Hold on. There we go. Do I have another one on the other ship? No, I only had the one solar mirror. Well, that's okay. We're going to put this on this ship just to play it safe. And put them all on there just to have them. That will hasten in case we ever need them. Okay. Alright. Good. Shall we? Let's check out this stuff over here. Because I didn't realize we were low on microprocessors. I could have swore we had a ton of them. Well, what do you know? It isn't that special. All right, good. All right. Let's go. I think we're in good shape. I don't really think there's any reason for us to continue to hang out here. Um, if we do find a dissident system, I think we now have a gun capable of taking on... That looks like one of those depressed areas that could have had something in it. Um, capable of taking on some of those units so I can get those crystallized hearts. Those crystallized hearts will allow me to free up those two extra spaces on my... on my weapon, uh, on my multi-tool. Okay, I think we're done with this system, don't you? I think it's time for us to go. Uh, I'd love to pick up those, but... Yeah. Four glyphs. 22 minutes in. Let's do this. It was a fun run. Time to leave. Alright, so we're looking for... a pirate system. And we'll try to get pretty far away. We want at least 800 or so. Now we start looking. Pirate Dissident would be great. And there's a dis dissonant system. <laughs> Too bad I can't really just mark it. Anyway, moving on. Look for pirate, 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 pirate. Pirate, 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 pirate. I want the little pirate symbol. Come on, there's got to be one in this grouping someplace. Nope. Oh, wait. Right there. What do we got? Oh, wow. Whopping two planets there. Uh, I guess beggars can't really be choosers, right? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. We have to land on a planet, switch to my solar ship, and then we can go to the space station. Hopefully the planet we land on is not aggressive. Uh, aggressive. Okay, where's the planet that should be right next to us? Activated copper, so it's stormy, but I really don't care. Let's head in. 
Xeno colony, huh? Oh, that's water. That's interesting. I didn't really want to go to the beach, but okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Is this... Yep. Worm sign. One of these places. Gotta be a plant right there, too, isn't there? Okay. That's okay. We got plenty of uranium now. Alright. Off we go. Looks like our space station be right there. Okay, obeying the rules. Um, yeah, kindly catch me and pull me in. Thank you very much. All right. So let's sell off some of the stuff we have. What do we got? 6.2 million on us. First, guy, real quick here. Sell. Hard frame engine. Salvage data. That just gave us all the money we re really needed right there. But we want to clear out our inventory. Uh, where are you here? There we go. Dirty. Aronium. Lemium. Backup. Granite. Grantine. Uh, anything else? That should be it. And you had nothing we wanted, right? You don't happen to have any solar mirrors, do you? No? Another repair kit. I wouldn't mind one of those. Since we have the money. Alright. Alright. Looks like we got ourselves a solar ship that just landed. Let's go ahead and head all two of them. Huh? Pretty. Rear engines on that one. Yep, offer to trade. What do we got? You do not have what I am looking for. Leave. This guy will have the same stuff, but I'm going to check anyway. I like the nose on this one better. Uh, offer to trade. Yep, that's what I thought. There we go. Bye. Alright, did we get any more ships that landed? We had another solar ship landed. I guess he'll have the same thing. Let's check out the uh, multi-tool. A-Class. He's got a pulse spitter on it. I like pulse spitters. I like them a lot better. It's almost worth getting. How much is it? It's an A-Class, so it's going to be quite a bit. It's only a million? I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab it for the pulse spitter in case I ever want to do, do anything with that. And then we're going to switch back. Okay, so everybody took off. Let's wait and see if we can get a better ship flying in here. In the meantime, we're going to unload that into my inventory. And uninstall, uninstall. That gives us plenty of stuff we can use. Okay, good. That's excellent. We're in good shape. Let's switch our multi-tool over to you. Alright. Does that multi-tool have a name? It doesn't make a difference. It's going to be a good one. So we just still need those crystallized hearts in order to open up some more technology slots. Hello. Ah, different. Let's see if he has my forged passport that I need. Offer to trade. Forge passport it is. 923. They're getting more expensive. You notice that? 
Okay. Alright, so we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and get some upgrades. Hey, maybe we can get a pulse spitter upgrade. I don't know. Or, or scatter blaster upgrade. That would be... I just got a launch thruster upgrade because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, hyperdrive. Oh, we can get two. Excellent. Got to be careful. We want to keep some. Phase positron, movement, geology, starship, and shield. Alright, so no... None of the ones I need. Let me see. No. Starship. Let's do the starship shield. Okay. Alright. So we are... What's this? Our start... We're putting it in the wrong ship again, aren't we? Yes. Okay. Alright. That means we need to go. Let's go land on our other ship and head out. to try to save ourselves launch fuel, so let's see if we can get closer to our ship over here. Not sure how far out it is, but we were facing the space station, so. And right down here. be right over here on the edge no a little bit further right over here there she is all right good deal all right so that's going to save us a little bit of time anything on the ship i need no let's head out and we're on our main ship Good deal. Let us go ahead and install this. Let's see what it's like. 12%. 23, 30, and 15. So you're useless to me. Okay. And what do we got? Hyperdrive. How much? 127, 93, 75, 147. This was 75. 75 goes bye-bye. Okay. We got a lot of these wiring looms. We can sell those off now. Another hyperdrive. 120. That's 93. It's 127. Goodbye. So what do we have? 1150? Hmm. 1150, huh? Okay. Well, that's good. All right, what else we got left? We had some launch, right? Launch thruster, we'll go ahead and get that too. And it actually changes our maneuverability as well. It actually may help us be a little bit more maneuverable. Negative six. Okay, good. That's excellent. And you see it's already recharging on its own. Isn't that fantastic? I like that. All right, and it looks like we've got plenty of these guys now. How much do we have on our exosuit? We don't have any. Okay, so we got a... Forge Passport we're going to be using. We're going to keep our Pulse Spitter. Put it on the Starship. We're not going to put it in our tool yet. If we can get an upgrade for the Scatter Blaster, we'll be in really good shape. Alright. Shall we? So we need to find a regular system. We're going to look for another three-star system. Hopefully something with a moon on it. Or in it. Okay, off we go. Do chat a little bit. Now that we've got a little bit of extra, how far can we go anyway? All right, 1157 is what we're looking at. So a thousand year light years is what we're looking for. So we're going to look for a three star system. I'd like to find a three star dissident one because I think we're going to end up needing more. Um, 
Yeah, see this dissonant, but it's an emerald drive required. Oh, there's one. And a pirate system. <gasps> oh, you know, we got to do it. Please tell me there's a moon here. No moons, but man, look at all those planets. Oh, well, we got to go. Because we can get crystallized hearts here. Excellent. All right, this is going to be a good, 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 good find. Pirate dissonant. Okay, so let's see if we can find that planet. And the ship should be in good shape. We've got shields. Did we get shields? Did I put the shield on? Yeah, I did put the shield on, didn't I? Hold on. Hold the hold the phone. Yeah, I put the shield on. I could have swore I picked up a starship shield. I wonder if it ended up in my ship. No, my inventory wasn't full. Alright, that's interesting. I could have swore I picked up a shield, and I guess I didn't. Alright, that's weird. Anyway, not important. Not important right now. Let's discover some planets. Corrupted Sentinels. That's our planet. It's a damp planet, so we're in good shape. We must have some ships around us. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Come on. Alright, off we go. And I gotta remind myself to get rid of the starship load. This, the, the lines on pulsing. Gotta add that mod back in. Okay. So we're putting... Uh, I'm sorry, is this water? can't tell. Let's get down below, down, down lower. So I think I see trees and stuff, but I can't tell what we're looking at. It is. It is water. Alright. Let's get a little further around. Here we go. Alright, this is more land than it is water now. Okay, let's come in a little bit closer. So we're going to look for a mirrored unit. I would love to try it by and if you will is that one it is just got the mirror of course my ship inventory is full alright hold on Get rid of you. We don't need you. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Too far. Okay. Excellent. Land to DM. We're getting nanites. But we're not getting... what I was hoping to get, and that's the crystallized hearts. Alright. So, we are going to have to try to do this on foot, I think. Good at a cop. Are you kidding me? That was incredible. It was a oxygen and sodium field right next to each other. Yeah, yeah, I know. Can we please? Thank you. Alright, let's take a look here. Yep, we didn't get any crystallized hearts. Okay, how's my exosuit look? Plenty of room. So what do you think? Yeah, look at that. Is that incredible or what? Unbelievable. Sorry, folks. We're going to have to do this. I mean, what are the, what's the possibilities of that? I just like it. I'm going to take that picture, and too bad. All right. Yeah, what do you know? 
passing overhead. Let's see how many animals we got here because we do need to get stocked up on nanites. We got nine. That's two. Okay. So, shall we head to that mirror? Where's my ship at? Uh, where did I go? Really, I got my that self that turned around, so the mirrored unit dude is going to be out that way. There he is. I can see him now. We are going to do the hijack. I, I was trying to keep away from you. I hate you. Nothing got damaged, right? No? Good. And there he is. So we're going to take that out. There we go. Wanted to get that guy a little focused. Alright, anybody else around? No? Okay, let's go ahead and take him out. And he's coming towards me. Come on. Why is it taking so long? I think we got him. Still got an inverted mirror. Scatter blaster, here we come. Oh, hey. Thought they abated. They're healing him too quickly again. That I'd already reloaded. Okay. Is there a storm? There was a storm. It did say there was a storm. I have to keep our eyes open. Alright. Where's the ship? I'm going to take the ship over there to our left. Or right behind me, I should say. Okay, and I think that's right... there. Let's take a closer look. Yep, there he is. Excuse me, sir. I swear, if I can get enough shots placed on one of those, I can start getting the uh, pieces I need. But anyway. Come on. Thank you. Build an inverted mirror. I have to get out. No choice. There we go. Oh. Hello. Okay, well that's a turn of change of pace. Nope, don't need that. Got it. All right. All right, that worked. That is really good. Okay, so we can take out the smaller units pretty well. Okay. And we're just going to hang out here for a moment. And hopefully the storm will abate. 
and I can get back to the real things. Actually, yep, there it is. Okay, so we can shoot these from the air, but they aren't giving us what we need. So that's the problem. The crystallized hearts are what we're looking for, but we're not getting it. So what we're going to try to find here is see if we can't find... You know... campsite would be nice, but we keep getting inverted mirrors, and it's oh, it's nice to get the inverted mirrors, don't get me wrong, but we're starting to get too many of them. But we can shoot them all day from the air. There's an inverted mirror here. Dissonance Resonator. Inverted mirror. That's not helping us. But what was that in there? Let's go ahead and land. I want to take out some of these because we can use these for our a lot of different things. It upgrades everything. Okay, so where was that thing I saw? Was it over here? No? No? I swore I saw one. Looks like we got another invert- uh, one of those resonators over there. Yep. And we now have plenty for our activities. Wow, that was a pretty big... Okay. Up we go. And there's another one right in front of us, what do you know? Inverted mirror. They're not going to give us what we're looking for, are they? Thought there was one that way. Yeah, the music's getting kind of weird. Anybody notice that? Maybe it's because of the corrupted world that we're on? Could be. Alright, so... Radiant shards. We're going to go ahead and hell. That, that's great that we've got those. Those will come in handy, like I said. But we need more resonators because we need to be able to find one of those little campgrounds. Abandoned campsites, I think they call them. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna skip that. Oh, there's one. Really? That's all it's gonna give me, huh? Keep giving me inverted mirrors. At least I can get some nanites out of it, but... I really don't want nanites out of it, that's the thing. Is I'd like to get one of their... Echo locators. Oh, that's what it actually says on it. I wonder if that's what it means it's going to give me. Son of a gun. Okay, well now I've learned something new today. Let's use it. Uh, should be in my regular inventory, I'm guessing. This way. Alright, campground. Let's hope we can get some of those... Yeah, because of the... 
way this works, we're going to have to go a little higher. Probably because we're so close to the ocean. There we go. Nighttime. Bring it in. And they're very, very interesting. I don't know if you've never noticed this before, but they look like a crashed space station. I mean, you got the, the cargo containers, and that's fine. This is fluid. It's just packet, that's all fine and dandy, but see like, this looks like a broken cargo container, but that looks like the core of a space station. Very interesting. More Atlantidium, that's fine. Rusted metal that we don't need. What's that? Huh, really? Well, let's take a look, let's see how big it is. Shield strength 7. Uh, about useless to me. So, we'll take it out. Okay, we'll keep that. We've got more inverted mirrors than we know what to do with. Than we sh can shake a stick at. Okay, what about you? What are you going to give us? Vesium. Not going to help us at all. Alright, so no crystallized hearts here today. Say la vie. Uh, there. Back out. Scan. All right, so that's what, uh, seven, nine, and eight, right? Yeah, seven, nine, eight. Okay. E -de -de -e -e. Seven, eight, nine. And we'll check out the ship in a minute. Let's see what kind of multi-tool this is. It looks like one of the big boys. Uh, my gosh, it's an S-Class. Well, holy crap. Hmm. Um, that's actually worth taking. Uh, just because. I still need those crystallized hearts, though, and that's the thing that really, really bothers me. So, anyway. I have to exchange it. That means I'm at my peak that I have of multi-tools, so... Uh, let's take the Messenger of War, compare, and exchange. And we now have an S-Class multi-tool in our inventory. That is a beautiful thing. Of course, it doesn't have any slots. You know, it's only got the one supercharged slot, which is very interesting. So, you know, we'll see. I got plenty of Atlanta DM, so I'm going to go ahead and repair some of these spots on here. What was that? Inverted mirrors, we know we got plenty of those. Radiant shards, yeah, we got plenty of those. We'll go ahead and do it. And that should do it. That gets almost all of them. Okay. So let's go back to my other one and check it out. It's a C-Class. We got a supercharged slot on it, but just the one as well. So, it might be better if I switch over. So, I may just do that here in a couple minutes. Alright, let's go ahead and... Okay, distant spikes. Let's see if we can't find a ship. There's a freighter nearby. We can get some stuff from it. But I think we're getting to the point where we need to find... We have enough. If we can get four more travelers, we have enough units on us to get three more forged passports. So, we should be in good shape. Okay, so we have uh, access to the ship. I am going to go indoors. Let's go inside over here, and I'm going to get this taken care of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this um, off camera. So I'm going to pause you guys while I switch everything over. I'll be right back. And we're back. So yeah, this turned out to be a better idea because it actually has a higher damage output just with the one output, uh, one unit up here. So we're looking like we're in pretty good shape here. Um, 
if I can get some upgrades to my scatter blaster, I'll be in really good shape. And then we can get some crystallized hearts and hopefully uh, open these units up. Um, I'm guessing the supercharged slots are going to be in this general area at some point or another, uh, which we'll never be able to upgrade this thing. So that's okay. But we're in better shape than we were. So let's move on, shall we? So let's go after the ship and see, see what we got our hands on. Uh, we've got a lot of tools now. Uh, we never did get our crystallized hearts. I'm a little bit upset about that, but it is what it is. And this doesn't appear to be a planet that I'm finding things very easily. Like some of the other planets I, I ran into on an earlier video, but is what it is. I just want to get out to this ship and just check it out and see what it is. And if it seems to be a pretty decent ship, I'll pull in one of the crash ships and we'll swap it out. But S-Class Multi-Tool, dude. Awesome. Alright. What do we got? Ooh, look at that little guy. Oh, that's a sweep wing. That's a raptor. It is a raptor, my friend. B-Class Raptor. Sweet. Uh, you know, we really don't need more Pugnium. I've got so much now, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't need any more. Okay. Let's take a look. It said Crimson, now it says Fire. We want that. And now we got more Pugnium. And we'll take the Highline Brain. Okay. Yeah, it's a sweep wing. Look at that. That is pretty. What did we get? Weapon shard upgrade, which is worth 480 nanites, so we'll take it. And let's go ahead and do the, do the brain, and let's see if we can find ourselves a new ship. I don't know. This might be a good one. i got to figure out which ship I'm going to trade it out for. Because the ship I have, isn't it a B-Class, if I'm not mistaken? Yes, it is. And I really hate to give it up, to be honest with you. So, hey, who knows? We'll see what happens. I, I want to see what this ship has on board anyway, so we'll see how it does. Off we go. It is there. How far out are we? Ten seconds. All right, we're good. We're good. All right. And look at that mirrored unit on, on top of the slope up there. We'll get that afterwards. I'm just going to get through this real quick. Blah, blah. Present the brain. And now we have the new brain. If I only had a brain. That's the wrong one. Uh, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. You know, I should really check it to see what kind of hat, but it's probably just going to give me a mirror. Where'd he go? Okay. Who's next? Anybody else? Hi. Eat that. Okay, so we would have to escape. Let's go this way. Oh, they detected me. I was hoping to get out of the way. All right, we can't pick up anything along the way. We have to... There we go. Oh, there's three in front of us. Let's go this way. Six, five, four, tray, two, one, and... They're done. Okay, back to the ship. Uh, that guy. Uh, 
Ah, hate when that happens. Don't you hate when that happens? Okay, good deal. So, what did we get out of that? Did we get a... Yeah, we just got another mirror. Okay. Just curious. On our way. And we'll see what this ship has on it. See if it's worth our while to keep it or not. It is a pretty ship. I do love the Raptor style, so... Alright. Let's see what it gives us. Alright. Two supercharged slots. And we just got a rocket launcher and that's it. Sentinel cannon. The usual stuff. What's our own ship like? We've got two. Don't we have two supercharged slots? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I know. It's a great looking ship. It really, really is. Um, can we just claim it? Let's see. We can claim it. So, I'll take it anyway, just because it's worth quite a bit. But we'll stick to our hypercruiser, because it's just a much better ship. All right. I think we're done with this planet. we got plenty of stuff now. We're in good shape. we got a great weapon. We don't even need to hit the space station. We're not even going to go there. Um, so let's just go ahead and head out. So, we have a forged passport in our name. We are going to head about a thousand in. Give or take. And we're going to look for a three-star... We don't need a dissonant system anymore. We just need a three-star uh, economy. Hopefully with a moon. Because moons tend to allow us to find more stuff. Technology upgrades here. I got another pirate system there. Uh, let's see. Uh, back down here. In this particular mode, it that is in permadeath, I really want to say that there's less three-star economies. Two, 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 lots of twos, two, 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 three. What do we got here? Uh... Doesn't look like you have anything that I need. There's a three. I can't tell. Yep, one of those planets has a moon around it. All right. Let's take it. So this will get us a thousand light years closer, but we want to get some glyphs, and that's what this system is going to be for. So the first thing we're going to do is land, switch over to our solar ship and get out of this battle keep going avoid that is there another planet nearby no that must be the planet no we're not going to do that I'm sorry are we uh our pulse drive is working yes and it looks like this one has two moons it's a barren planet. Alright, so that should be pretty good. What about you? One moon. What are you? Holland. So that means I'm not going to find anything there. That's fine. And verdant with aggressives. And this looks like it's completely water. Unless I'm seeing things. How can it be barren and not have any land? Let's go there. Wait a minute, where's the space station at? So there's a space station. That's the planet near the space station. Let's take a look at it. All right, acrid, fungal mode. Let's go there. 
I'm gonna go right over there. We can head back to that, uh... The one that has the aggressive sentinels is not gonna be a fun planet to play with, so... We may not be able to find what we're looking for just yet. But we have to get to our solar ship first. Before we can land at that space station. We're not gonna go with the comms. Quit the comms. Isn't that funny? We're near a landing platform. Love to make use of it. But we're going to land right, right over here, if that's okay with you. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Yeah, 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 I know. Here we go. We are going to head to the space station. Should be right there, I think. Space station. Space station is down there. There it is. Hopefully we don't get involved in that stinking little battle. Well, they're going to be attacking us because they found something in our ship, but not before I landed. I don't know why I switched ships. I just realized that. I didn't have to. That was brilliant. Alright, well, let's get rid of it. That was silly. Alright. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, Forge Passport. Okay. Let's go look for our Traveler, which I'm hoping to find if my theory holds true and I'm not finding him. Nope, I don't see one. Okay. Down we go. Let's go to the other side and hope that he's in the, uh, the bar. No? Okay. Nobody here. Great. Brilliant. Well, it did not hold true. I'm tempted on checking out that moon. And I can call in my other ship as soon as I get there. Maybe not. Maybe we'll land first and I'll pull it in anyway. How are we doing? 2,000, good. Sunrise. Just gonna slide over to my ship over here. Really thought I would have gotten to the ship by now. This is taking a little longer than I expected. Sorry. There we go. Should be pretty close in front of me. Or right behind me, as the case may be. Right over here. All right. So while we can check this planet out, because we know that there is ships and what have you all over this planet, I really would rather go to the moon because everything will be tighter, compact, and everything like that. 
but let's hope we get lucky. Maybe we can get at least one more glyph. That'll make this worth my time. Uh, let's see, where is the planet at? Okay, there we go. Is that the one? Columns. Nope, it's the other one. It's you. It's aggressive sentinels, but we'll see how we'll do. You ever notice that there's like wires sticking out all over the place in the ship? I wonder why that is. Really is kind of like, you know, wacky. But anyway. Now aggressive sentinels, so we're gonna have to be careful. down just a little bit and we're looking for glyphs at the top of the screen you know the markers for the graves this is actually a pretty easy place to see stuff on I think and then we're looking for ships this technology is the second thing we want Keep going in this direction. Yeah, get stuck again. I hate when that happens. So we don't want to tick off the sentinels while we're here. So we're going to have to be quick. is what we're hunting, really, you know. Honestly. We'll go ahead and do that once in a while. Glyphs are going to be the harder thing to see. I think. Yeah, we're not heading over there. It's a landing platform, guaranteed. Very pretty planet. Kind of like this. Always like the glowing plants when that happens. Well, our next system is going to be a pirate system again. We're not worried about dissident. We're just worried about pirate systems at this point. And we will get ourselves a forged passport again, and we'll do this all over again. This is, we have to. Come on, keep going. hoping to find something. We're not finding much here at all. Except stuff to scrape the underbelly of my ship. Underbelly. Funny word. knowledge stones everywhere. Not finding the glyphs. It was yellow and I don't know what it was. Nope. Not there. Whatever it was, it's not there anymore. Probably just a plant. Because the glyphs tend to, I think, stay on the screen a little bit longer. Hmm. 
Okay. We're not finding much here, are we? At all. Well, in the head over there. Looks like a beacon or possibly a save point. All right. I think we're going to have to call it. Really hoping to find a glyph here, but not finding it. Wow. You know, honestly, you have seen something by now. And maybe I'm not looking hard enough. Another beacon. Okay. The system apparently does not particularly care for me. Maybe it's because I didn't save their buddy out in space. Come on, you can do it. star items one more time nothing all right I am calling it I have a funny feeling I've already circumnavigated this particular moon and I'm not finding anything so all right so that was a Let's move on. Pirate system, here we come. Galactic core is going to be this way. Uh, let's see, 900. We want a pirate system, right? kind of bright. Pirate, 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 pirate. Where are you, pirates? thought you guys were a little bit more popular out here. Pirate, pirate. Oh, that was a pirate system, but an indium drive is required, huh? Fascinating. Come on, one of you guys, give me a pirate system here. I will take anything at this point. There's one. Okay. That looks pretty good. On we go. Okay, so this time we are actually going to land. Go ahead and switch over to our other ship. And we'll get ourselves a passport. We're about the hour and 20 mark, so what we're going to do is... If we can rush through this part a little bit quicker. Hey, there's the space station. That means we should have a planet very close by. Hey, there it is. Alright, looks like it's a nothing planet. Remember, 250 nanites every single time we want to... get the coordinates to a fella 
tell us what happened to himself. Yep, I know. Uh, why would I want a summer? Oh, yeah, yeah, duh. Okay. Yeah, let's put you over right there. In the meantime, let's search out the one life form that should be on this planet. One life form. Won't be a flying. There it is. Nowhere else. Mammalous animal. Got it. Okay. There we go. Extra 250 nanites. Might as well grab it. We'll get the achievement. It's the eighth or ninth planet now. see the space station here. Ninth planet, huh? Launch thrusters at 10%, so we're gonna have to fix that. Alright, charge that up. The uranium that we have. Not really worried about that, I guess, right now. Okay, solar ship, pirate system. Here we come. Now, there's not much for me to sell this time, so I'm just going to head straight over here. Let's see what he's got. Scatter blaster. Isn't that nice? Uh, what else do we need here? Plasma shield. Starship shield is always a good idea if we can build that up a little bit better. And a hyperdrive. Okay, we definitely will be needing more nanites as we go, though. Hey there, buddy. And whack right in the head. There you are. Hi. Got a forged passport for me? You do not. Goodbye. Where is your friends? You have no friends. Oh, that was not a weird looking uh, little ship. That is like tiny. Hello, your pirate entitiness. Uh, you have nothing for me. Interesting. Leaving. Is there a third ship that has landed yet? Not yet. Alright. Don't think we have anything to sell, but let me just check here. Alright. Sell. Do -do -do. Oh, you know what? We can turn a lot of that stuff into nanites. I forgot about that. Quad servo. That's what we get rid of. I want to keep going over here. I want to see if we can find our next spot. Everybody left. Isn't that interesting? Yep. Not there yet. Okay. What do you got? Lame. That's what we got. But you know what we can do? It's our scatter blaster. Let's go ahead and put it in our... No, I don't want to quick transfer it. I want to put it in here. 8885. Nice. It doesn't change any when we do that, right? No. There we go. Very nice. Are we not going to get anybody else showing up? Please tell me you have it in your inventory. And we do not. Okay. Well... If no one else is showing up, then I guess we should just go off to our next system. And we'll make it another part, and we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah, there ain't nobody coming. No, no, I think that's just a star in the distance. Okay. Well, 
Okay. Not much else to see here or do here, so I guess I'm done. So what do we do? I think it is time to call it. I know we're not quite at an hour and a half, but I think this is a good place to stop as any. Um, what I will do is I'll most likely have one more episode I'll record tonight, and I'll put out one this evening, which is Saturday night. I'll put out two tomorrow, and then Monday morning, if we haven't completed it in the next episode or gotten as far as we, we could, we will complete it on the live stream on Monday morning. Okay? So we'll see you all then. I'm facing the wrong way. Hi there. Hey, how you doing? How about we uh, do a little quick wave and say thank you to everybody. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode.